Hello everyone, welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about and showing you how I was able to fix a, a minor issue I was having. It took me a while to figure out. I had to do some Google Googling and go to different forums. So what's happening here is I'm using jQuery Date Picker. And I normally wouldn't recommend mixing in jQuery and Vue, which are, which, which are Vue application, but in this instance I had to. I was going to use the um, Vuetify date picker component, but I just found it it was too much code. It was very, I, I thought it was bulky. So I just decided to use jQuery. And it's, you know, very, very fairly simple. So this is my jQuery here. You know, after I put in all my libraries at the top, um, all I have to do now is just, I, I have this date field right here. It has an ID. I have my V model for view. And then I did this, and then this is just a, a piece of code. Very, very simple. The the view, the Vuetify code was just too many lines, and I didn't want to use it. And this is all it does, and it works until I ran into a little issue. So let me refresh the page. So I, if I come in here and I put in my name, so I, you know, Isaac, you know, that works perfectly. But watch what happens when I put in a number. So if I do this, see how my date disappears. And I could not figure out for the life of me why it kept doing it. Like, what is going on? So I come here, my date keeps disappearing. So after doing a little bit of Google and going to the view form, then I learned why. And it's because, and it makes sense, um, it's happening because when you use jQuery with view, view doesn't really know about the values that are being set here. So when I pick a value here, view doesn't know about this value. You know, as far as it's concerned, it's an empty string. So when a page is, when it's re-rendered, when the re-rendering occurs, um, you know, when I se select a value from here, it replaces the value with what view thinks is the core. So when I come in here and I do this, you know, it just replaces it with what view thinks is, is, is supposed to be, which is a blank. And the reason is, if you look at my view, even though I have this V model set, you know, even though I have the V model set in jQuery, I mean, in my view, it's not really setting it to the value of the date picker. You know, this right here is this for view. This is the source of truth. So if if it's not being captured in here, it's really not, you know, it, it's, it's going to replace it with a blank. And me doing this is not really, you know, jQuery is a, a different library than Vue. So there's no connection between these two. So I have to make the connection and, and make sure that when a value is picked from here, it gets in here. And so that it can be, it wouldn't cause an issue. So here's how to fix the value. So if you come in here, we're going to create something. We're going to use methods. And then we're also going to use a lifecycle hook called uh, mounted. So basically once the instance is, is instance is done, resetting and mounted, that's when this gets called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use jQuery here. And I'm going to say DOB. So I'm going to call it, so the date picker, dates picker, let me do this, and I'm going to say on select this dot set, let me call it DOB value. So basically I'm saying, okay, when the value is, when the date is selected, call this method right here. So let me copy that. And I'm going to go to my methods, and I'm going to do methods, right? And I'm going to be passing it the value from the value that that's selected. I'm going to pass it the value from my date picker, and I'm going to say this that dob is equal to value. Now, when I do this, now I am setting this value. To the actual value and so now I shouldn't have that problem anymore so let me save and let's go back to my form 
retry, and refresh the page. So if I come in, I say Isaac. If I come and select the date, and if I do this, as you can see, it doesn't reset like before. The value is not being reset. Come here, it's not being reset. So that's how you solve that um, that problem. That's how I solved that little issue I was having. I am though going to figure out how to use that view. I mean, I know how to use it. I used it, but it was just too much code. Um, but there's a concept called view components, which probably make it much easier to use the viewify. But I'll be showing that in, in another video. But anyway, I hope this made sense to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments. I'm going to be pasting this code, and I'm going to be putting it in GitHub or in Gist. Um, so you can have access to it and I'll provide a link in the, um, in the little section down below. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.